Hello and welcome to good old radio vintage radio shows. Kick back, grab a cup of coffee, some favorite tea, and let's start the show. Today's show is Hopalong Cassidy presents The Rainmaker of Eagle Nest Mountain. Sponsored by Cutting Edge Radio Network, let's start. It's Hopalong Cassidy! <laughs> With action and suspense out of the Old West comes the most famous hero of them all, Hopalong Cassidy, starring William Boyd. Now here they are in the exciting story, The Rainmaker of Eagle Nest Mountain. Hoppy, I never figured it would happen like this. You thinking of deserting the Bar 20 to settle down in a spot like Eagle Nest sure surprises me. California, I always said I'd find a quiet place and kind of retire, didn't I? I got a hunch Eagle Nest is it. I bet it don't even show on the map. Of all the local ideas I ever heard, this is it. Hoppy, maybe you ain't the man I thought you were. No, uh, maybe not. I always figured you'd die with your boots on. Not out in the desert swatting fly. <laughs> a man needs some peace and quiet once in a while. You know, a chance to sort of hibernate. It's bears what do that, not humans. <clears throat> Uh-oh. Look at this. A reward poster. Maybe Eagle Nest ain't so dead as a thought. Fifty dollars reward for Lou Jackson, see Sheriff at Eagle Nest. Cheapskate, Sheriff. If I was that Lou Jackson, I'd get plenty sore. Lumping me off at a price like that. Say, what do you say, Hobby? Won't hurt to pick up a quick fifty, huh? No, California. I just want to settle down. But, uh, well... Hey, Hobby, look over there in that bush. Another one of them reward posters. One hundred dollars for the capture of Bud Bloom. I'm not interested. But well, you sure can throw money away. Look at two more notices painted in them rocks. Must be plenty of trouble around here. Says five hundred dollars award for Griff. Just I told you I'm not interested. But gosh, Hoppy, that ain't old Falber. Uh, who's a shooting at us? We ain't done nothing. Come from over toward that mountain. Uh, maybe it's somebody shooting at a rabbit. <coughs> I may have a funny pair of ears, but I ain't no rabbit. Hoppy, it's just natural for a man like you to want to clean out these parts. Well, either somebody's aim was awful bad or we aren't the target. Listen, I judge that must be the target coming up the trail now. Come on, let's get out of sight. There he, there he goes. There he goes now. Are your eyes really that bad? Huh? That's no he, it's a she, and a very young she. Well, darn to be damned. Why dagnab them dirty... California. Taking pot shots at a gal. Let's see if this will tone them down a bit. Oh, she's out of range now, so you can hmm. relax. What do you say we get out of range then? We ain't get much cover here. You know, I don't like that shooting at a woman. Maybe we had better have a little talk with this advertising sheriff of Eagle Nest. Now you're talking like the old hoppy. And I can use some of that reward money for a new pair of boots. <laughs> well, come on, then. Back to Hopalong Cassidy and the story of the rainmaker of Eagle Nest Mountain. Hoppy and California have ridden into Eagle Nest and find there's not much of a town to welcome them. Hmm, Eagle Nest sure looks like a good place to feel lonesome in. Uh, here's an eating house, Bud Bloom's place. How about a cup of coffee? Did you say Bud Bloom? Well, that's what it says over the door. But Hoppy, Hoppy, that's the lunk that was worth a hundred dollars. Remember? Here's our first reward money. Well, let's have a look. Howdy. Uh, hello. Mr. Bloom? Well, that's right. What can I do for you? Tell him to throw his hands up quick, Hoppy. Shh, not so fast. Been in this town long, Mr. Bloom? Almost ten years. Get him, Hoppy, quick. Ever hear of Blue Jackson? Why, sure. He owns that barber shop over there. Uh, you get him, Hoppy, and I'll go after the hair clipper. Don't be so fast, California. There's something funny about all this. Mr. Bloom, did you ever hear of a fellow named Griff Jessup? Of course. He runs the Buckhorn Bar across the street. Why? Is that so? <laughs> this is going to be handy dandy. Get him all in five minutes. It'll bring us about, uh, let me see, but about... California, these are all prominent men in this town. I ain't interested in the social standing. It's the price they'll bring. I've got a hunch. You wait here. 
I'll be back in a few minutes. And don't do anything. But, Hoppy, now, wait a minute. Gosh darn it. Uh, uh, spoiling my easy money. Uh, hey, you, uh, Bloom? Uh, yeah? Cup of java. Uh, coming right up. Well, hello, bud. Well, howdy, Griff. Uh, what'll it be? Oh, spaghetti, I guess. Did he call you Griff? Why, sure. Griff Jessup? That's right. Mm-hmm. That settles it. A man can jazz. just stand with so much temptation. Get your mitts in the air, you two. Huh? What do you mean by Get that? Get him up quick, I said. Well, now, if it's money... It's you... money, all right. Reward money. I seen your ugly mugs tacked up to a tree just out of town. Oh, those posters. <laughs> Why, you leather-headed fool, don't pay no attention to them. <laughs> That's all a gag. I'm laughing, all right. Mostly at the thought of that 600 bucks. You'll be sorry for this big ears. Get moving, fatty, towards the sheriff's house. Huh? This is the easiest money I ever made. <laughs> Well, let's get to walking and get this over with. Walk? Who said anything about us walking? You'll do the walking. You will. Ah, get going. I'm getting on my horse and I'm going to drive you up there just like a bunch of doggies. Oh, boy, if the folks back there in town could only see me now. Oh, get along, little doggie. Get along, little doggie. <laughs> Stop champing around like that. I've seen wild horses better behave. I tell you, we ain't gonna forget this. No, me neither. <laughs> Got a classy pair of boots to remember it by. Yes? Howdy, Sheriff. I'm California Carson. I got a dangerous bunch of outlaws here, which you offer as a reward for. What? Hey, tell this man to turn us loose, Mr. Wetzel. I'd like a chance to sell Ain't this I with him. Ain't I you two down enough yet, or will I slug them good, Sheriff? Untie those men immediately and stop calling me Sheriff. My name is Wetzel. Let those persons fly the coop. I'm hanging on to them until I see the Sheriff. Then, uh, if you ain't him... Uh, now, this is ridiculous. Uh, you're liable to have a long wait for the sheriff. He hasn't been home here in two months. What kind of screwy... The gold? sheriff has been working so consistently and constantly with his rain-making machine that he's grown quite eccentric. He can grow whatever he wants, as long as he gives me the reward. Oh, I've argued with you long enough, Lout. Lout? This gun in my hand says you'd better turn your prisoners loose immediately. It's about time. Well, if this ain't the dog... You'd better dog... do what the man says, California. Uh, uh, Hoppy. I told you to leave it alone in the first place. But then reward posters. I've explained to your stupid friend three times that it's all a mistake. You see, we have no need of any real law around here, and the citizens just elected Mr. Billington... Honorary sheriff in view of his great efforts to bring rain to this desert. And he ain't even a real sheriff? Oh, of course not. He posts those reward signs constantly. And all the people with intelligence know enough to just smile at them. I ought to take my 600 bucks out of your hide. Turn the men loose, California. Uh, Our apologies, gentlemen. My friend here was taken in, as you can understand. Uh, sure, sure. Uh, but just keep this bum out of my place. I'll put ant poison in his next cup of java. Incidentally, my name is Cassidy. And I'm Wetzel. I came here to work with Mr. Billington on his scientific experiment. I just rode down for supplies. And now, if you'll excuse me... Rode down? Yes, the rain-making machine is on the top of Eagle Nest Mountain. Rain in the desert? Is, uh, is that the one with the sharp peak that uh, we passed on the way into town? Yes, and you mustn't think anything about the shooting you heard. The old man always tries to frighten people away when they come too close. Well, that's interesting, but I don't believe I mentioned the incident. Did you tell Mr. Wetzel about the shots we heard in California? I ain't had a chance to tell him nothing. He's too busy doing me out my reward money. I, uh, well, it's just that he usually... What's the trouble? Oh, there's no trouble. Get on with your cooking. Oh, all right. How do you do, miss? I'm Hopalong Cassidy. Well, hello, Mr. Cassidy. This is a pleasure... I'm Martha Billington. Poppy, this is the gal we show. You must be the rainmaker's daughter. Yes, my father's working so hard on that experiment. Must be cozy up there, trying to make it drizzle and shooting at people, even his own... Well, don't let us disturb you, miss. You go right on with your cooking. But don't work too hard. You already look uh, windblown and dusty. Yes, I... Gentlemen, if I may suggest it, you had best be on your way... You've caused enough stupid trouble already, nosing into everything. We've apologized for the trouble, Mr. Wetzel. But we can't help being interested in this great experiment of Mr. Billington's. He certainly requires a lot of supplies, doesn't he? If you're referring to these kegs on the porch, they contain dynamite for the experiment. So you'd better not be around here lighting any matches unless you want to be blown out of town. Oh, I don't smoke. 
But you'd better be careful smoking that pipe that's sticking out of your pocket. Might blow your head off and make some people awfully happy. I warn you, Cassidy, if you persist in nosing around Eagle Nest Mountain, they'll take you out of here in a box. But I like it around here. I think I might start a little ranch once it commences to rain. I wish you would, Mr. Cassidy. Hoppy, uh, do you want me to stake the horses out or cook up some grub? Both. While you do the chores, I'm going to slip back to the sheriff's house and try to get word to Miss Martha. You know, I don't like that setup. Can't blame you. That Wetzel ain't exactly friendly, and that poor gal with her father shooting her off the mountain. Well, I wouldn't judge him from Wetzel's story. This adds up to trouble, California, but I don't know quite what kind. <laughs> now, I was afraid you might be settling down. <laughs> Well, let's see. Mm -hmm. I know the little man, and he has a little horse. And, uh, say, uh, what'll it be tonight, Hoppy? Pork and beans, or beans and pork? <laughs> ah, let's have both. And be sure to put a little water in the coffee. I like coffee you can pour. You insinuating I ain't a good cook? You just can't tell a cup of demi tassie from a cup of plain coffee. <laughs> I'll be back with Diamond Freddy. If I don't get blown back. Yeah, uh, Hoppy, uh, better take off your spurs. They can hear you a mile. I never take off my spurs unless I'm going to take off my boots. And I'm not going to take off my boots. All right, go ahead and be honorary then. Uh, but be careful, Hoppy. <laughs> It's me, Cassidy. Oh, hello, Mr. Cassidy. I'm so glad you came back. I wanted to talk with you. That's what I figured. But don't tell me your father has to sneak around his own house. Oh, I don't know. He might. He hasn't been the same since Mr. Wetzel came here and offered to help him. Why, now my father stays up on that mountain day and night. Sometimes I get so desperate, I try to get up to see him. And when you do, some mysterious shots are fired at you. Why, why yes. How did you know? My friend and I are riding into town and saw that little foray this afternoon. Oh, Mr. Cassidy, they try to tell me it's my father shooting at me. I just can't believe it. Don't believe it when it's Wetzel telling you. I won't stop until I get up to see him. Next time, I'll try it at night. But that might be pretty dangerous. My father's always been a little preoccupied, and all the years of work he's put in on that rain machine have taxed him, but... Oh, he seems to be doing such terrible things. Like what, Miss? Oh, those reward posters. Why, those men are his friends. And now every week or so, there are more of them tacked up on the trail into town. Have you ever seen him tack them up? No, I, I guess he does it at night. And all the men make such light of it. They won't even take them down after he's posted them. What men? Oh, Mr. Wenzel's assistant. How many are there? Three, I think. He says they're metallurgical students. But everything is kept so secret now. Miss Martha, uh, these, uh, these kegs of dynamite here on the porch. Oh, my father's always used it in his experiments, but never so much as this before. Well, there's nearly a wagon load stacked here now. They must be getting ready to do something terrible. I'm so afraid my father will get hurt. Do, uh, uh, do you mind if I have one of these kegs? Of course not. Please be careful. I never go near the stuff. Ah, oh, it's all right. I've had it before. Well, look at this. White gunpowder. Why, I didn't know that. Hmm, tastes good, too. Just as sweet as sugar. I wouldn't worry about any explosion with this stuff. What's it all about? I have a hunch, Miss Martha, and if I'm right, California and I are going to have one sweet time tonight. <laughs> Hopalong and California are making their way up Eagle Nest Mountain to pay a visit to the Rainmaker. 
But as California's mutterings clearly indicate, he'd rather get into trouble at a more convenient time. I don't know why these darned emergency can't wait till we've had our chow. My insides were so empty, even them beans smell good. Did you tie the horses up good? Stopper's pretty frisky tonight. Sure, sure, but right now I'm wishing I hadn't. If a man were supposed to walk, he would have been born with four legs. Ah, oh, this exercise will do you good. <sighs> hey, ain't there an easier way to get up this mountain? Well, I was afraid the main trail would be watched too closely. This is the path the jackrabbits have beaten. Well, I'm all for giving it back to him. Hey, look, you look. See that there thing up on top? Yeah, that must be the rain-making machine. Tarnation! Did you ever see a crazier-looking contraption? Why, the way that big lever's swinging back and forth... A lot I... of work has gone into that mechanism, California. Well, they say one generation laughs at what the next generation invents. Well, I think this is good for a big long laugh. If it ever brings one drop of rain to this here desert, I'll sit right down and eat the boots off in my feet. Spurs and all. <laughs> well, we have much farther to go. We better be quiet from here on and stay close to the ground. There appears to be quite some activity around the tower. Seems like there's a rustle from behind the tower. Okay, let's go over and take a look. Hey, wait a minute. There's somebody coming up this front trail. That must be what we heard. Yeah. Well, I can draw a beat on them as they come over this rise. Hey, look. Look through here. Isn't it a woman? Uh-huh. That must be the old man's daughter. Well... Don't make no difference, though. Wetzel says to shoot. He said to shoot to scare her. He ain't never said to kill her. Uh, maybe you're right. Let's wait for her right here. I can handle her. Yeah, quiet now. There. I guess that's done. Uh, nicely done, man. Uh, Wetzel. Uh, hello, oh. boss. Didn't know you were around. No, you didn't. I was following Martha up the trail. I just wanted to wait and see how you'd handle the situation. Uh, we done all right, huh? Carry her inside the tank, Joe. Uh, sure, boss, sure. <laughs> she don't look this heavy. Slim, we got to work fast tonight. Martha's been talking. You know what that means. Yeah. This has been a good spot, but we've stayed around just about as long as we can. Especially if Cassidy is going to get Snoopy. Cassidy? Yeah, a rancher from the Bar 20. Always going around and getting at everybody's business. Oh. So this is how we're going to handle it, Slim. You set the dynamite with fresh caps and see that the old man is locked in the tower until we're ready. And then come and help me load the pack horses. Bobby. Bobby. You hear that? They've set some of the contraption in motion. Yeah, that wheel is moving. Looks like this means quick action or this whole mountain will blow up. We'd better separate. We had... You're not afraid, are you? No, I just wanted to be around to uh, take care of you. Well, I'm trying to manage. Now, you go around behind the tower and see if you can find some back stairs that might not be guarded. I'm sure the old man must be up there. Then where will I find you? I don't think you'll have any trouble. In a few minutes, I will hunt you. It'll be easy to find where I am. Oh, gosh, I hope that contraption don't go off while we're up here in the mountain. Because then it might start to rain and me without my overshoes. Well, you can always take off your hat and soak your head. I, oh, oh. Looks like we've been spotted. Keep down. Uh, I'd feel a lot better if we stuck together. It's just dark enough to show these boys how to play the old Indian game. The way that guy out there can shoot, we ain't fighting ordinary people. Darn right we are. That's Cassidy. Hey, there he is now. All right, I got up. His head behind that rock. That's just his head. If I know anything about the way Cassidy operates. He's somewhere else. Come out of there, Webster. I'll touch a match to this keg of powder. Take another look, Cassidy. Sugar won't explode. This sugar will. I rolled this keg over from the powder house. Fool. Was that unlocked? I didn't have a chance, Wetzel. You wouldn't touch that off, Cassidy. Not with Martha in the tank. California. Yeah, Huggy, where are you? You got the girl out of the tank? All clear. All right, boys. I'm ready to set a match to this. Wait a minute, Cassidy. Slim, climb out of the window and get onto that big overhanging branch of the tree. And then when he comes out into the open, drop on him. Okay, Wetzel. I'm coming out, Cassidy. We give up. We know when we're beaten. Keep your hands high and no trick. Good work, Slim. Uh, there. Uh, I bet it's the first time Cassidy's ever been slugged over the head with his own gun. I'll go dump him in the tank where the girl was. No, I don't think it's better. It'll be easier that way. 
I put a separate charge under the funnel. When you bring the old man out to set the final charge, that'll go too. Well, all right, but hurry. That machinery's in motion, and the old man's the only one who knows how to stop it. Yeah, and he ain't going to. Not after all these months of wanting to set it off. All right, Joe. Snap into it. Tie those things down. Well, why was that machinery started before we're off this mountain? I, I don't like it. I know the timing. Let's just keep moving. Now I'll go up to the tower and bring the old man down. Well, I don't know why it has to be done this way. Hey, Slim, is that you? Yeah, that's You me. cover Joe while he goes up to the tower. Cassidy's pal might still be around here. And where are you going? I'm getting out of here. There's too much powder on this mountain to suit me. Why, you dirty double cross The rest of you aren't worth saving anyway. You planned it this way. You never meant for us to get away. Now you're getting the idea. What a rat you are, Wetzel. Yeah, you were never quite quick enough on the draw, were you, Slim? Your coward, Wetzel, drop that gun. Huh? Ca Cassidy, where, where are you? Put your hands up and be quick. Slim! Slim! Joe, come and help me! Up on Eagle Nest Mountain, the Rainmaker's giant machinery takes closer to that uncertain moment of explosion. You up there on that tower, I got you covered. I give up. Don't shoot. I'll keep a beat on you till you get Mr. Billington safely down that ladder. I'm coming. Don't shoot. Hoppy, hoppy. Is that you? Yeah, I told you I'd make enough noise so you could find me. Yeah, but where was you for the last 15 minutes? Taking a nap. See how bad Slim's hurt. Looks like he's just winged. Bring him over here, and I'll introduce you. Uh, inter, inter, uh, what? Uh, well, all right, Hoppy. How are you, Slim? Oh, I guess I'm all right, Mr. Cassidy. You got any word for a few minutes? Say, what is this? This California is Mr. Slim Davies, U.S. Deputy Marshal, under whom I've been working. Y you mean uh, you knew all the time about this? We, we came up here to get in trouble? We came here to stop illegal liquor traffic. And as I suspected, those reward posters were code signals to the runners. Well, doggone fooling me that you was coming up here to settle down. Oh, Mr. Cassidy, you're not hurt. I'm so thankful. You'll be more thankful to see someone else. Look who's coming down that ladder. Father! Come on over here, Mr. Billington. And you, Joe, up at your hands and no tricks. I, I give up, Cassidy. Oh, Father, Father. Martha, did you come up to see the climax to all my years of work? Tonight I will see success. My esteemed colleague has just informed me that everything is in readiness. But what do you mean? The machinery is already in motion, Martha. There's no choice but to go through with it. I must get to the control room quickly. When the giant wheel reaches the top, the great moment will be at hand. Mr. Cassidy, isn't there great danger? Not if you get over beyond that bridge. But my father in that control room. I don't know. All I'm... through the ages, man has sought a way to make it rain. No one has worked any harder than I have. And in a few seconds, the world will have the greatest gift science can give it, rain. I'll go in the control room with you, Mr. Billington, if you like. Delighted, my friend. But Hoppy, There's a lot of dynamite around here. It's such a risk, Mr. Cassidy. Hurry up. The rest of you get back. Right in here, Mr. Cassidy. Now, close that door tightly. Well, I, I don't believe I have a match. Here's one. With the touch of this match... Civilization will acclaim! Hoppy! Hoppy! Is that you, California? Yeah, 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 that's me. I mean, uh, I mean, this is me. Mr. Billington is here. Just dazed, I think. I can't tell in the dark. Well, don't write no more matches around here. This whole mountain must be gunpowder. Why, it's, it's starting to rain. Father, are you hurt badly? Rain? Did somebody say rain? Oh, Jiminy, it is starting to sprinkle. I can hear the drops hitting my head. You feel all right, Father. Feel all right? Well, I'm the happiest man in the world. Can't you hear what these men are saying? It's starting to rain. I've done it. I've done it. My machine works. Do you hear me? I can make it rain. Can we help you down the trail, Miss Billington? Well, I... I don't think they better try to walk, Hoppy. Well, maybe not. California and I'll go ahead and send horses back for you. Oh, that'll be fine. Meanwhile, I think Father will enjoy just staying right here and 
feeling the rain on me. Yes, yes, Martha. What about you, Slim? I'm all right, Mr. Cassidy. Well, you certainly helped us clean up a bad case tonight. Uh, I'll take charge of our prison. It's still raining, isn't it? Isn't it? Yes, Mr. Billington. It's really raining. Oh, I'm so thankful. So thankful. Well, we better be saying it's goodbye the... now. Goodbye, Mr. Well, Cassidy. Go on, hop along. Come on, California. Let's get going. Say, uh, Hoppy. Yeah? Wasn't there clouds gathering overhead this afternoon? Yes. Then it ain't necessarily the rain machine that started this. No. But on the other hand, uh, it could be. Yes. Well, uh, what do you think? I think we'd better get back to the bar 20 before you decide to make a rain machine. <laughs> Hopalong in California. And here's a special invitation to join them next time they ride out from the Bar 20 when, as usual, I have a hunch they'll get into plenty of action that spells trouble. Hey, thanks for listening to Good Old Radio and Hopalong Cassidy. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the world. And we'll see you next time. Bye now.